Now, tonight's comedian hails from San Antonio, but his clean comedy makes people laugh all over America. He's worked with such stars as George Lopez, Wayne Brady, and B.B. King. His dry bar comedy special is called Cleto is My Real Name. And to prove it, here he is, Cleto Rodriguez. Give him a big welcome. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. I am just celebrating my 22nd wedding anniversary. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, I married a beautiful Christian woman. Let me tell you, God will use a beautiful woman to get you to go to church, I found out. Yeah, that's what happened with me. I didn't know my wife was in touch with her faith, you know, because me, I was like, nowhere near, you know? And uh, I remember... Uh, because understand something, ladies. If we think you're beautiful, we will follow you anywhere. We'll follow you to church, prison. It does not matter. We will follow you wherever. And uh, I remember my wife, my wife asked me. She was so gorgeous. She asked me to go to church with her. Now, you realize you haven't been to church in a long time and you go back. For some reason, doesn't it seem like the service is directed right toward you? I was in, I was in my wife's church. I heard words like worthless, lazy, weak. I didn't know what to do. I just stood up. Here I am. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I thought, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking to me. I don't know why I stood up like that. I told my wife, did you tell him I was coming or what? That's rude. And I'll be honest with you. That church service made me cry. It did. It had me in tears. Because out of all the people in the congregation, the pastor looked at me and asked me this question. Son, is your name in the book of life? And I was like, well, sir, my name's Gletel. <laughs> it's not even in the book of baby names. <laughs> I'm gonna burn it out. <laughs> then my daughter Gletel thinks she has it bad. So, <laughs> and not only that, but the you know, one thing I understood is that my, that church service, the pastor talked without even talking and made me feel crazy. Yeah, he went like this. <laughs> mm mm. You're not hearing me. And I'm sitting down like this. What did he say? I'm like, man, he's good. But when he did speak, boy, did people listen. Couples! You get in an argument, you make sure you cast that devil out right there! Scared me too, ma'am, you know what I'm saying? I never passed gas out loud in church in my life. I'm going to be honest with you. My whole hemorrhoid went, ah! you know what I mean? It scared me. He said, you simply look up and say, devil, get the heck out of here. <laughs> Folks, when I heard that, that's all I needed to hear. I went home that afternoon. Football was on. I hadn't cut the grass yet. And I'm sitting there watching the game. My wife comes in and turns the TV off. <sighs> right there, I didn't get mad. I remember what the pastor told me. I looked at my wife and I said, devil! Get the heck out of here! And turn that TV on now! <laughs> but I don't know how my wife lasted 22 years because our first year of marriage was rough. We argued all the time. Our first year of marriage, we were unequally yoked, you know? And she knew the word and I didn't, you know? And it's like, it were, she, let me give you an idea. We were leaving church on the way to the car. We started arguing on the way to the car. We just heard a whole service about love and we're arguing. So my, my wife, I got upset. I said, look, I told my wife, I'm not going to be a hypocrite, okay? Okay? We didn't believe in divorce. So I told her, I said, look, we either going to heaven together or we going to hell together. But either way, we're stuck. So make up your mind. What do you want to do? She goes, I want to go to heaven. Well, then listen to God, because it was her fault. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, and not only that, but it was like I remember our pastor said, make sure you put scripture in everything you do. Well, what do we do, the Rodriguez family? We put scripture in our arguments. Yep. My wife was like, you're not loving me like Jesus loved the church. And I didn't know the word that well. And the only comeback I had was, yeah, well, you're not respecting me like they did him. <laughs> she goes, that's not in the Bible. I go, it's in the book of Eli 419. If I ever, where's the camera? If I ever see Denzel Washington, I'm going to call him a liar to his face. There's no book of Eli in the Bible. Made me look like a fool. 
And then, not only that, we found the scripture, never let the sun go down in your anger. Take care of it. Fix it. Well, we adopted this thing where we pray for each other at night. And it was going so good until one of us said something crazy. Her. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> and no, we were there, and it was like she got mad at me because I didn't go to my sister-in-law's house. And next thing you know it, she was just, like, upset with me. And she says, uh, you know, we're going to we pray together. This night, she goes, I'm going to pray by myself tonight. I hope that's okay with you. And I felt God all in that, you know what I mean? And I thought it was going to be like a silent prayer. Oh, no. She wanted me to hear this one. She was like, Lord, Lord Jesus, you know everything, Lord. And you know I told somebody in this room to meet me at my sister's house. And you know, Lord, what you do with liars. And if you want them to burn in hell, then let them burn in hell in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> I said, what? That's okay. Daddy got a little prayer of his own. Now it's my turn. Hmm. Sweet Jesus. Woo. Lord, you told me that you would protect me from all things. And Lord, you said to me that you keep me from evil. And that is why I didn't go to her sister's house. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> My name is Pastor Rodriguez. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cleto, that was great. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You know, I think one of the reasons that everybody was laughing out here, because they all could relate to what you just said. <laughs> they feel like that you were like that pastor <laughs> talking to them like that pastor talked to you. They all felt it. Well, I appreciate it. Hey, if you want to enjoy more of the clean comedy of Cleto Rodriguez, visit Huckabee.tv. We're going to hook you up and connect you to Cleto. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Since you made it here to the end, that must mean you like the video. So you might as well subscribe and hit that notification bell below. But if you really hated it, just click the like button three times.